welcome back to my bathroom. Today, for episode 16 of the hair color series, we're doing cap highlight. Right, Henry? Woohoo! We also have our last giveaway for this year. It's a $25 Amazon gift card. Just comment a comment in the comment box to be entered for that. The winner will be announced in next Sunday's video, the Christmas special. Last week's giveaway winner is timestamped in the description box below, as well as any products we're gonna go over today. You can just skip this if you want. Skippy dippy. Here's the one I got off Amazon. This one is under $5. Looks like this, and it comes with a crochet hook that you're gonna need. It's much easier to do a cap on yourself than it is to foil, 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 yeehaw, foil your hair. <laughs> Pretty much all you're doing is grabbing pieces of hair in these little dots. Do you see that? And then coloring them either with lightener or bleach or a darker color so you can do highlights or lowlights so it's not gonna cover your whole head. This should be done on clean, dry hair. I took my extensions out last week and I shampooed my hair yesterday, so it's pretty clean. You're going to brush this back. Everything goes back. What you don't want to do is part your hair and then put your cap on. You want it to be back so the hair can always be the closest to the scalp that it's going to get so it doesn't look like you have grown out roots already. This will make sense when I demonstrate it in a minute. The part that has a little scrunchy side, that's the back. It needs to be tight. Tie this part. Most of these caps come in a standard size. There are a few larger sizes. If you need to cut this, you absolutely can customize this cut it out, whatever you need to do to make yourself feel comfortable, or if you have a smaller head, it may be hanging on your eyes, go ahead and cut that out. Now with a marker, I'm going to mark on here where my part line is, the way I always part my hair. If you part your hair to both sides or in the middle, just skip this step. For demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna do this as my side part. If you are doing a part line, you are not pulling hair from this line. Now we're gonna start pulling out the hair. This is what the little crochet needle looks like that comes with it pretty much just a little fish hook bam, to be able to pick the hair. They come in multiple sizes, small, medium, and large. The one that came with this kit is for the fine or thin sectioning, pulling, whatever. Oh, it says 1.5 millimeter. For cap highlights, I would recommend just doing little pieces. If you want a lot of highlights, do the whole head. And what I mean by that is if you take a look, there's circles and there's holes that don't have circles. It gives you kind of a diagram to follow. So you need to figure out how much do you want to highlight. A lot of highlights or color, you're going to do all of these holes. If you want a medium amount, you're going to do just the circles, or you could reverse it, do just the ones that are out of the circles. If you want just a very subtle light change, you could do something like every other circle. For me, I'm gonna do just the circle ones today. The cap actually has two layers. So it's this thicker part, it already has holes punched out. Under the cap is a thin plastic shower cap. So when you're pulling the hair out, this hole has already been made and you're piercing through the plastic cap. So you can actually reuse these when you're done with this one, cut out that thin plastic layer, the bottom layer, put a shower cap on your head. They have them at the Dollar Tree, six for a dollar or dollar 25. Hurry up y'all, cause it'll be $5 soon. And then put this back over it and then you can reuse this thicker part. Now you're always starting in this mohawk or middle section and we're avoiding the hairline. If you need to, Mark with your marker, this is my hairline. This is my do not touch zone. What you don't want to do is highlight around the hairline and then when you or your client pulls your hair up, you have all these little streaks when you're wearing it in a ponytail and when that grows out, it looks bad. Avoid the hairline. This is my part line, I'm staying away. I'm taking the hook, going in and grabbing hair. Here's what it looks like, going in, It is at a slight 45 degree angle, the hook. You don't wanna to grab too far because you don't want the hair to move out of its place. And that's another reason why we brush the hair back because we want this to be as close to where it lives as possible. If we go in and drag hair all the way from back here and pull it to this hole, we're gonna have roots already and we just did it. So you need to try to get as close to the scalp as possible. If your hair is parted and then you put the cap on, you're gonna be pulling hair from everywhere. But if it's brushed back, you're getting directly on the scalp or as close to the scalp as you can. Going in again, pulling hair. And you're in control over how much hair you wanna bring out. If you wanna add more to it, just go back in, pull out some more hair. Ooh, that's too thick. Okay, look at that. So if you make a mistake, like I just did, that is way too thick for what I'm trying to do, slide your tool under here, pull it back through. That's better. 
This should not hurt. It's obviously easier to tell on yourself if it's hurting, but on a client, it should be a slight little kiss on their skin. You're not stabbing them. They're gonna sue you. And don't worry if there's any snags at the top or any hair that's fish hooking on you. We're gonna get that out at the end. This entire process takes about 10 minutes, so it's super, super quick. Now, if it's your first time, it may take a little bit. Give yourself some grace, learning something new. I mean, it's difficult, but once you get the hang of it, 10 minutes. This is for people with shorter hair. I wouldn't do this with anyone who had longer hair than mine. It's gonna tangle and it's gonna be really hard. That's more for foils. But for short hair, especially men, this is what you would use. I'm just going to do a partial today, which means I'm going to stop right where the top of the ear, and if it were to go around my head, that is a partial highlight or low light. So I'm not going to be doing the nape or the back of the neck. If you're doing the back on yourself, the two-way mirror method where one mirror is here, one is behind, that's gonna be just the best way to do that or have a buddy if you can help you with that. We're gonna move on to these sides by the ear. Again, very important that we're staying away from the hairline. Around the ears, hairline, big no. Grab the hair, I'm starting from the front and I'm working my way back. Can you see that? That is way too much hair. I'm gonna go in with my tool and pick that back out. Try again. Once you're done, you wanna take a look at it and see if there's any more hair you wanna pull out. Do you wanna add more? Do you wanna take any away? Now you're gonna take a comb and you're just gonna comb all this. What you're trying to do is comb out any snags or fish hooks that are gonna be at the base. So you wanna make sure all the hair that wants to come out is out, brushing it back. All of this that's on top of this cap is what's going to be colored. You can use any type of color permanent, semi, demi, bleach, it doesn't matter, but all of this will be covered. Today, we're using Arctic Fox Periwinkle. Periwinkle. This is a semi-permanent hair color. That means each time I shampoo my hair, it's going to gradually fade out and eventually turn back to this color. It's as is, so whatever's in the bottle, that's what you're going to get. Take a look at that. I don't have to add any developer or anything to it. For this Arctic Fox to work, these fantasy colors, the hair needs to be bright blonde. The lighter the canvas or the hair is that you're putting it on, the brighter and better this is going to look. So now to apply the color, you literally just do this. I'm gonna apply it this way first, just everything back. I don't wanna take my hands and go like this because I don't wanna push any color into those holes that we poke. It will cause cheetah spots. So the less I touch the root part, the better. But I'm gonna take it up and work it through the ends like this. The processing time for this is 30 minutes. It does say to cover it up with a plastic cap. You're using the free one today. Remember ladies, just do the tuck and roll in the back, it'll be fine. Once it's done processing, in my case it's been 30 minutes, what you're not doing is taking the cap off with the color in and then rinsing, shampooing. No, you're gonna rinse it with the cap on, get all the color off. Then you can take this cap off and do your shampoo, condition, whatever. I've already rinsed this and in my case, I'm not gonna shampoo or do anything else because this color we used this Arctic Fox is semi-permanent. So if I shampoo it once, it's already going to fade. So I'm going to leave it. You can just rinse it with cool water. It's gonna be okay. Now I can take off my cap. Ooh, that's pretty. Blow dry this. It's still a tad wet and you kind of have to look close. That'd actually be nice to put on my whole head. It's this little, uh, it looks like lilac, like periwinkle lilac. It's obviously not gonna color these darker parts. I mean, it did a little bit, it toned it out. And you can see a little bit right there. So it's not like an in your face change because the color is obviously very light, but also because I did every other hole in the cap using very thin pieces. I wanted to show you guys this really quick. This time I'm using this Conair Pro cap. It comes with four. I actually like this better than the other cap. Oh, oops, I got bleach on there. Um, it seems to fit a little tighter on my head. So I'll link that below also. Hopefully you can see this, but I picked out a lot in the back. And this is lightener with tin volume because I still have some of that dark from where we did the color remover. Here's the final result. It still needs a toner from the blonde, but it is a lot better. When I put my hair up, you're not going to be able to see any tiger stripes because we did them so fine and thin. While I finish this, we're going to go ahead and do the giveaway from last week. This is for the $50 Amazon gift card. Everyone who commented something, your name is in the spinny wheel and we're going to spin it together. If 
this is you, you're going to email me. It's right here also in the description box and I will send it to you via email digitally after I verify your account. Please remember, scammers on the loose. I'm not gonna ask you for money to claim a prize or text you or call you or anything. No, I'm not gonna do any of that, okay? So please be aware of scammers. All right, so that concludes cap highlights. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Also, don't forget to enter the giveaway. It's our last one for this year. Don't you hate that when people say, see you next year, when it's the new year? <laughs> no thanks. Next Sunday is Christmas. I'll still be posting at the normal time, Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be a little bit different for our Christmas episode. We're stepping outside of the Bathroom. I'm just gonna kind of hang out with you. We can play with Henry together and just kind of chit chat. We're just having like a sit down hangout session. So if you don't have anyone for Christmas, I may not be your first choice, but I'm gonna be here for you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's it. So I'll see you next time for something cool. Something cool.